Welcome back everybody to a Little Fish Blind Bag Review. And today, I have three Disney Pixar Finding Dory Series 3 Not So Blind Blind Bags to share with you guys. So, without much further ado, let's get started. And as usual, we will begin by showing off the packaging. So let's take a look at the characters you can get in Series 3. So, Series 3 of the Disney Pixar Finding Dory characters. And these are meant for the ages above 3. And these characters are Charlie. Jenny, a sea otter, Destiny, Squirt, the hermit crab, Coral Hank, and Gerald, and were produced by Bondi, each sold separately. Due to small parts, these are not intended for children under three. Back of the packaging, just Bondi, more information about Bondi, and all the choking hazards. And of course you have the little window who tells you who is inside, so that is why I called it a not-so-blind blind bag. So, now that we've taken a look at the packaging, let's see who we have inside. And just to note, there are tear strips in the bags for easy opening. And in this bag we have Gerald. So we have Gerald the seal. It feels very smooth and kind of wet like some of the other figures we've opened up in the past. He has his green bucket. But weird that they didn't make that just kind of hollow for the handle in the bucket. Looks a little strange. So, Gerald, the seal. Shiny and slippery. And moving on to the next bag, we have Squirt. Squirt is adorable. Been nice if they colored the flowers on Squirt's shell to make them pop a little bit more, but at least they did add them. And I do like that they added some texturing on his flippers. Really nice. And on to the next bag, we have the sea otter. And like Gerald, the texture is really smooth and kind of slippery. So we have the sea otter, which would be the second sea otter in the series. But this one has a different pose. Trying to look all cute and cuddly. Looks a little bit like a koala. So like a brown koala. But nope, it's a sea otter. A little bit of weird plastic. Looks like a chunk was taken out of it. And it's flat on part of it. That's a little weird, so maybe it's supposed to be put down on its back. I'm not too sure, because the bottom is not flat. So I guess it is supposed to be laying down like that. So flat on the back, I guess to look like it is floating in the water. Interesting. And last bag, I wonder who we will get. This is a pretty quick review, sorry for that you guys. So, to finish off our Series 3 Finding Dory collectible figure blind bag opening, we have Destiny. Now opening up the bag, Destiny has that paint smell I hate so much. Very strong, but I'll get over it once she airs out. She is super slippery even more slippery than Gerald. It feels like she's coated in oil. It feels really, really weird. Maybe that's why she smells so bad. Maybe the paint just wasn't dry, but she is super slick, super slippery. She's not even... Okay, yeah, she's super shiny too. But I'm having trouble just keeping a hold of her. She's so slippery. So we have Destiny. Destiny is our last character for this opening. So for series three of the Disney Pixar Finding Dory blind bag series, we have Gerald, Squirt, the Sea Otter, and Destiny. Cannot wait for series four. Hopefully they will have that because they have not made one for Bailey yet. And I hope you all enjoyed this really quick blind bag opening. If you did, make sure to hit that thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please do subscribe. And for more content, you can always visit me on Tumblr. 
Instagram, and Twitter. And until next time, everybody.